Hello friends, this is Priya. Welcome to ValueTrainings.com. Today under SOAP UI Training, I am going to start the concept which are very much important to implement, to run or to execute any one of your project or a web service. Okay, so let's start. What is the meaning of endpoint? So before coming to the endpoint, let's discuss something about the URL. What is a URL? URL is nothing but a uniform resource locator which is going to tell you the path of run whenever you search for anything let's say if i open one of my browser or you write so pui download okay if you route if you just write so pui download what you are getting can you see this within the address bar what i am getting this thing I am getting okay so this is the complete thing so the, the thing which for which I search is soap UI download I could see that soap UI download within the URL so the URL contains the protocol with the help of which it is passing and the page from which it is coming including many more things okay only the thing which for which I am discussing right now is this one Okay, and the complete part is my URL. So this is for just a simple search. Okay, so what is this? This is for Google. Let's say if I open one more tab and I write so UI training. Okay, now I'll search. I'll just select this part and okay. See now the same URL, not the same, but the way to pirate same right it is also coming from the google and it is also coming from google source is my chrome so many more things are there right but this time it is last time it was soap ui plus download and this time it is soap ui plus training okay so the, this thing is what this is my url and which part is common if i forgot about the this thing if i forgot about this can you see it's google.co.in till this the way the path which it is showing me which will tell me from where i am retrieving the data this is in other terms i can say the domain so the domain name is my endpoint okay so here i'll say the domain uh, the endpoint is the domain name which includes the name of site understand so this is the endpoint. Endpoint from there, I'm getting back the response, the server name or the the path, the location, the port on which my server is running. Okay, and for my retail application, it is going to run on the localhost 8080. So for all of these URL, what will be the endpoint? Till 8080 is my endpoint. And guess one more thing, till 8080 only. Not this forward slash. This is not a part of my endpoint. Understand? Okay, and one more thing, if I open any of the websites, if I open Amazon, okay, so this is my Amazon, and if I open any one of the, if I click on to any of the thing, let's say if I click on to that, so this is the URL which I am getting, okay, it's for endpoint. This is the URL which I am getting on clicking on to that. If I click on to this, one more URL, it opens. Click on, select this. So this is the second URL. So what is the endpoint in both of these? If I click on to 100 URLs, till this it is going to be same. Okay, till Amazon.in. So HTTP, HTTPS, these are the protocol which is with security or without. Generally it is HTTPS these days. Okay, so till Amazon.in, this is my endpoint. So the endpoint is one from where I am going to get back the response. Okay, so if you remember the example which I show you for my third session, it is, this is the browser. From where I will send the request to my server. Here I will say. From the browser, I'll send the request, and from the server, I'll get back the response. Okay, so this is the only thing. So the endpoint is what? 
and point is the one from where I'll get back the response this is for my response only okay and it is going to remain same for a complete website or for a complete web service okay so endpoint is only one endpoint so in uh, in these three there are a uh, list of URLs which I'll show you but for the time till 8080 is my endpoint okay till 8080 is my endpoint so this is about endpoint the next topic is about the resources okay so what is the resource see resource is something which I am using which I am getting after writing the endpoint so after this to this one this is my one of the resource after this to this second resource after this to this third resource and uh, it's question mark this is different kind of URL we'll discuss on to that also there's a different way to pass such kind of request okay so for this one for the second URL which I did show you after amazon.in this is my first you uh, first resource this is my second resource and after that a different kind of request okay so resource is what this is the part of URL okay which passes its control which passes its control to next tab right because after if I click on to this review after that this is the different thing completely different thing okay surely it will be related to the the previous part of a URL but it is a new thing okay so the same thing for my resources the the URL which I am going to use within my web service see till 8080 is my endpoint after that how many resources this is the first resource second resource and the third resource and the fourth resource okay so resource is what resource is something which will come after the endpoint okay so what I can conclude for that I can say that we will have a single endpoint and corresponding to one endpoint we'll have multiple resources am I right so this one to this okay so what is the parent part parent part is my endpoint here it is my endpoint okay and after that these are the resources resource one or resource to or resource to. many uh, many more resources can be there okay so this is all about the endpoint and the resources now the next thing is okay methods and request okay if you see here the resources okay see if with each and every URL one of the request type is present if it is post or if it is get You'll, uh, you'll get these kind of methods and requests when, whenever you'll get any API to test okay so with a complete URL you can see one of the request type is related what is the meaning of this see here so with each and every endpoint there are multiple resources with each resource or after completing see there are multiple resources which will come in between okay and with the last one with the last resource I am going to connect it with, with the with what with the request type which can be post which can be get which can be put or which can be delete okay there are many kind of uh, request methods we do have okay so out of all these or patch there are many more methods right so out of all this we are going to work on any one of the method type understand so what is the meaning of get post put and delete resources after that these are the request types or the method types which we are going to cover okay the thing which I did show you for the SOAP UI download and for the SOAP UI training these two tags okay I'll copy both again and I'll show you the last the first tag the first URL which contains the uh, value for okay just a minute okay wait let me go this okay the 
this is the second URL. So these both URL, when I could see, see the things for which I was searching aren't there. So UI plus download, so UI plus training. So whenever I'll get the thing for which I'm searching within the URL, such kind of thing is my request type or a method type as get. Get request. Okay. So the thing is, get request is not at all useful. Why? Because say if I want to log in into my Yahoo account or I want to log in into my Facebook account, I can't pass the username and password within the URL. Okay. So get is the one which, is, which I'm going to fire by default, but it is not useful. It is not secure. Okay. So the second kind of request which will come after post, after get is post. Post is what? If you write yahoo.com, okay, it is opening. And if I say I want to sign in, my mail ID, this one, and okay, it's loading. Okay, after that, the password. I just don't want to send this username and password within the URL. Can we see it? No, it is not there. It is not there. The username and password is not there. So such kind of request, the such, such kind of request I am going to fire as post. So post is one which is not going to show the complete thing for which I am searching within the URL. Okay. And this is the more secure and the uh, cookies we can't catch for the post okay so this is about get and post so what about put and delete delete is something when i want to delete anything then it is kind of delete request say if you want to delete the phone number you want to delete the profile picture then that kind of request is delete and what about put put is something when i want to update okay when i want to add or update when i want to update my name when I want to update my phone number, then such kind of request is a kind of put request. Okay, what about the group? See, this is the only thing for which we are discussing about get post for delete. Crude is nothing but the four kind of operations which we can actually perform on any of the request. If I say it is create, C for create, what is the purpose of create and what kind of request I'm going to fire with C create. I'm going to fire post request okay with R retrieve I'm going to fire get because get is something to retrieve the data and for up use for update and with the update I'm going to put the data and for the D as for delete I'm going to delete the data okay so crude operations are the operations which are directly concerned with my any of the application if it is web based application or if it is the desktop based application understand so the last okay all are done the last topic for today is one url one url is one search what is the meaning of this see the as i as i show you this complete url is one of the thing one of the thing for which i am getting some output so this is what this is my one service understand so service is what the thing which is actually responding me back so the same thing for the retail application as i said we are going to work on our inbuilt retail application so this is one of that so one url means what one url means one web service understand so this is all about the topics and it's done Thank you.